Hi everyone, I'm gonna try to record this in one take so that I can upload it right away. This is my reaction to the video that Torque Test Channel just released about the new DCF845 quarter inch impact driver. Uh, so this one here is the DCF850, which I just purchased around New Year's time. It is from DeWalt's Atomic line. So it has this ultra compact stubby design. And when this thing came out, it had some impressive numbers. If you watch some of my older videos, I mentioned that one of the important things for me was to get the latest model that DeWalt was re releasing just to be able to stay up to date and relevant for a longer time. Um, so when I bought this just about a week later, the new DCF845 model was announced. And... Um, I was kind of uh, thinking, oh, maybe I should have waited a little longer to get the get these, and maybe I could have gotten the newer model. And some of the reviews that were initially initially released did have the newer model performing higher. So the scoop is that both this DCF850 and the new DCF845 have the same torque rating. However, the new DCF845 has um, higher RPM and more impacts per second. So theoretically, it should perform better for the same torque rating. This, the new model is actually from their XR lineup. So it's more of their flagship model. Uh, whereas this atomic line is supposed to be focusing on a smaller design and not necessarily performance. So I was happy to see the new video from Torque Test Channel where they compared the two and their findings were pretty interesting where this guy, this DCF850, still has much higher torque. Uh, so the conclusion is that, you know, the DCF845 is still probably better for uh, people in woodworking or contractors who are driving in screws and fasteners and really want that speed. However, when it comes to all, all right um, torque, this DCF850 model still is on top. Uh, and the other interesting thing from an engineering point of view is they determined that the DCF845 actually is longer than this, but narrower. So it is a little bit of a bigger uh, tool, but it is narrower. And it looks like they're able to get that higher RPM uh, from, you know, a, a smaller design. But because it's narrower, it the counterweights or the impact weights in the tool probably have less moment of inertia. So their impacting ability is actually reduced from that and that's where it sort of levels out a little bit more uh, when it comes to top end torque whereas this smaller but wider design is probably able to provide more torque anyways i just thought that was pretty interesting and uh thought i'd react to that video thanks for watching